Today I'll be creating a black market in Rust. My plan was to take advantage of a low-key monument and build right outside of it to collect all of the loot for myself, generating infinite scrap on wipe day. So why not sell it for cheap to get everything I'd need this wipe? As we all know, diesel fuel is one of the most overpowered items in the game, and I'd be buying that in my shop to get filthy rich. It was 4 minutes into wipe day and I had my plan set, and that was to take over the sulfur quarry, but competing oh on a max gosh. pop official server, this would be close to impossible. But with high hopes I'll be the first one there, TCs were already circling the quarry, so I had to quickly think on the spot, and then I saw it. Perfect base location for a solo, the abandoned supermarket. Now some may ask why this is the perfect spot, and I can give you a direct answer. On wipe days, clans love to take over big monuments, but I knew here that this wouldn't be contested by them, but only by small teams and solos. This means I could control it for myself, and hence why I set up a base close by the recycler. If I could survive and expand here, I could quite possibly make infinite scrap and comps, and this would definitely help with the shop I was going to set up. But before I could even complete my base, people were using my recycler. I'm out. I got all their stuff. Now, like I said, boxes and barrels are going to be respawning so fast on this server, so I went straight back to gather since it's extremely important to get a workbench one early, since the weapons you can create are a lot stronger than the basic bow. After gathering and recycling, I was finally able to make one, and I noticed players were at the supermarket, so it was time to abuse this base location and steal their loot. It seemed that everyone in this fight had died, and this means I could sweep up all of the loot for myself. I could just tell that this wipe day was going to be incredible. Haha, <laughs> what an idea. What an idea this was. Can the supermarket. This is all ours, man. Just because we live right here, and we got a free arrow simulator. I was already stacking up on so much loot, and this was only roughly 20 minutes into wipe. I had many plans, but for now it was to dominate the supermarket and save up for a workbench too. Oh, that's kind of perfect. <laughs> Hell yeah, I can see. I had a lot of things I wanted to do this wipe, and of course it was to create this black market, but I'll tell you about that later, and tell you about the other plan, and that was to build this really creative, unique base design. It's new out, so some of you may not actually know it. This base consists of a really OP funnel compound, easy to make stair bunker, and a bunch of peaks to protect yourself from if you get onlined, and not to mention the vending machine I'll need to create this black market. But I'd need a lot of resources for this, so I headed out to farm. Okay, that's something. Traded. In this hectic fight, we managed to both take each other out, but luckily for me, my yes. base was nearby, so I knew I could beat him to it. Oh my god. Oh... My <laughs> What the fuck? How is there so many people, man? There's a whole army out there. And since this area was causing a lot of attraction, and I had the best base spot, it was time to expand the base to its next form. Okay. We're secure. And again, I headed out to farm some nodes, but that's until I saw some players at the supermarket. Oh. 
Hey, you wanna split the loot, bro? You can have the rest. <laughs> we just get the slaughtered those guys. See how easy it is being as two people? I know it's not on my team, but like, I'm out. I'm out with gear. I think it was time to relax and focus more on the raw side of the game. So I headed out on my new horse, farming animals for low grade and cloth, gathering no to expand my base. And this would allow me to smelt the notes I'd gathered so far, since I needed metal frags to craft a workbench too. Definitely making a workbench too now. I mean, that's not bad. I'm kind of glad I did go right next to supermarket since it has helped a bunch on wipe day. Okay, the workbench 2 was down and I still had my mind on one thing, and that was upgrading this base to its next form, since you never want to be vulnerable on wipe day, since clans love to do early race and remove potential threats from the area. So I stuck to the plan and expanded the base. My base was starting to get beefier, but I was going to need a lot more resources and most importantly metal. So my next plan was to get my personal favourite item in the game, the electric furnaces. But I did need a solar panel for this, so it was time to go hunt for one. I'm on a hunt for a solar panel. Not quite. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I set up a basic electricity system for my electric furnaces, and then I headed out to the supermarket and found a little surprise on the floor. It's a really good spot. Um, I guess I'll take it. Why did I just get free loot like that? Maybe the game felt sorry for me and just decided to give me- Oh my god, 151 scrap! Again, we were blessed by this crazy what? base spot, but I still wanted to keep expanding on the base, but that would require a lot of resources, so I headed out on another farm. My mates respawned again. I think after this one, I really do need to focus on the base. But there's, it's just respawning constantly, man. But it just seemed that every time I left the supermarket for a couple minutes, something happened. Oh, there'll be some gamers. But I knew that sitting here on my base with a crossbow wasn't going to do anything. I had to grab my SAR and push them. These guys have a potential of having a lot of loot. I need to go kill these guys, man. Holy shit. How's that happened then? This is why you have to build right here. <laughs> I need to make a box ASAP. Oh my god. Oh my god. These guys were loaded. That I've been waiting for that so bad, man. I needed that one snowball to boost this wipe, and this happens. We can now make a workbench free already. That's insane. I can't lie, this was without doubt one of my highest progressing wipe days, and I didn't want to stop the momentum here, so I carried on expanding the base. I wanted to try and complete it on day one, so I could then focus on my main objective, creating a black market. Oh, this base is very tricky, man, but it's a, it's a really cool, compact funnel base. And you will see it. It is made for solos, but Lewis will be helping me today eventually. It's currently working. So as you've just heard, I will be getting help from Lewis later, which will help a bunch since I did want to use the excavator this wipe, as this will be a part of my master plan with the black market. But for now, I was solo trying to complete the base. I like the base. Oh, thank you, man. You want to know what base it is? Yes. Uh, it's called, you know, you know, Spinky. Spinky's new solo base, bro. You should try it. 
approved by this man. After approval from that player that this base was indeed cool, it gave me even more motivation to complete it. But I was out of resources, so I had to head back out to farm. But this time, I'd bump into trouble. No, we'll go this way. Let's go. Well, that's an MP5, and that this looks like a crafted one. It's quite scary news. All right, I think it's time we add some garage doors and more doors to this base, so let's do that now, or it's too late. <laughs> and before I knew it, Lewis had joined the server. Hey, what's good, blood? Uh, hey there. As I said before, I wanted to complete this base design on day one, as I normally focus on getting stacked up on loot before making a base. But this base design was so cool, I just couldn't help myself make it. So the base was getting to a healthy stage, and we now had enough resources to make a workbench free. And this would help the next stage of the base, completing the compound. This base is really unique since it only requires four walls to complete the compound, and as you can see, the base was looking promising. I then added metal barricades to fully seal the base. But now I think it's time to get into some PvP and make some enemies on the map. We noticed Excavator was being taken, and this was our golden opportunity to counter. And if you're wondering how we got that, we killed a Reef Camper who was on the exact same building I was going to counter Excavator on. L96. Oh, I see him. I missed. I don't know where he died. Yeah, it's on the mound. Killed him. Dead. Where's that? I'm taking silent shot. Tagged him. Oh, wait. Where is that? On top of the front thing. How do I get him? Oh, my God. Run. Oh, he's dead on top. Do you want to go loot it and drop all your shit? I'll give you a hazzy if you want. Oh, wolf. Uh. Oh. Hey, James. If you can get right to the top, you know where he was getting shot from. He's dead up there. MP5. So if you didn't quite catch that, Lewis was going to go loot the other remaining bodies and the excavator loot, whilst I run back and deposit all of the winnings. And then I was going to head back... Oh my god, oh my god, oh, I'm dead, outside base. I headed back, looting the remains of the fight with Lewis. Even though I did die with the L96, the metal fragments and spare sets were just as good. I'd see this as a win. Oh, 2k metal fragments. Oh. Right. Killed one. I'm here. Oh, Apex, yeah, that's the guy's. Oh, that's the guy that killed me for the L96. Yeah. Alright, successful. This wipe so far was going great, but now I feel like we were hitting endgame pretty fast. And from looting Supermarket 24-7, we had so much scrap that I think it was about time we built a heli. Now, we did have an oil rig nearby, and that was our next goal. And since we were next to an excavator and rig spawns with lots of diesel, I think this was a no-brainer. I'm gonna go God. down. Might be able to kill one right now. One dead. He's on me. I'm dead. With some insane piloting skills, we managed to successfully counter oil rig, taking the red card room for ourselves. It was time to take the heavens. We took down the heavies and now we just had to wait for the crate. And in this time I was passively gathering diesel fuel. As if you don't know, each one of these barrels is equal to 2,000 sulfur. And we just happened to live next to Excavator. <laughs> <laughs> Even though the crate was arse, we managed to stack up on so much loot. And this was great, since this would help with the shop I was going to open. Now it was coming to the end of day one, and I think it was time to log off. Not before we count a large rig, though. I'm dead. <laughs> I died as well. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, in all seriousness, it was now the end of day one, and it was time to get some rest and carry on tomorrow. I'm gonna log off. My head hurts. Day one was very successful. Look how much scrap we got. Everything for the comp box that is crazy. Next up, we need to finish the base completely tomorrow and add a shit ton of auto turrets, and maybe we'll get a raid. It is day two, and I didn't get raided. <laughs> no way. I thought 100% this base was gone, but we're not raided, and today, I am playing completely solo for the majority of it, since Lewis is doing lates at work, so, um, we got some stuff to do, and that is to complete this entire base, and also get a lot of auto turrets placed down, I can make two already, and I guess they'll go on the roof and one in the compound. Oh, my base looks so sick, man. I can't lie. I'm not normally a base builder, but this, this is the sort of bases I love. They're just so different, and this, this all will be completed, and it will turn into a funnel eventually. But this just looks so like, it's like so off meta. I hate meta bases, just because, like, they're all the same. But we'll start off the day with a simple uh, gas station run. Since we have boxes spawning, there's li you know there's literally 600 people playing, so a lot of players to watch out for. Take that. Take the springs. What the hell? Oh my god! First fight of the day, and it's one. <laughs> also, the idea is to eventually, since I'm living right next to the supermarket. I'm getting so much scrap and comps. I'm gonna make a vendor machine on my base and sell everything for so cheap for stuff I need. Creating a black market. No one else is gonna buy anything from these guys, except from ours, because it's gonna be so cheap, because we're rich. So my day two started off with a kick. There was PvP all over the supermarket, and I was sweeping up on all the fights, stacking up on even more guns and comps. And after this, I noticed Excavator was being taken, but that's until this happened. Oh no. Oh my god. I could have got a lot more, but I'm not being greedy. Please tell me I get back. I need to depot so fast and go back. But as I was returning back to the bodies, it looks like someone else had beat me to it. Dead. Wait, that's good. No one's touched this body. Do you reckon he's got loot? I'm leaving. I don't know if that's their base or not. That is nuts, man. <laughs> How has that happened? That is a big boost in guns, man. I tell you that. Ammo as well. Holy shit. Lucky I left. They are over there. What did I get? Oh, just about everything in the game, I guess. This is what I love about Rust. You just never know what's around the corner. And for me, it was three fully geared guys coming back from their missile silo run. And now, it's all in my base. Oh. And guys, I'm not gonna lie, for the next 20 minutes, I was just staring at all of my loot, wondering how the hell I got all of this. But then I realized I should probably expand on the base. But the problem was, I had no farm. So it was back out with a jackhammer. And now that I had gathered, it was time to expand the base. 
and then you can see in this gap here there'll be auto turrets in these top parts making the space so so good and what you're seeing here is actually a bunker for a loot room and i'll show you how it works once i get it completed I should, in hindsight, be able to place a roof here, and it breaks it. Okay, we'll just see if it works. Okay, and that's how the bunker works, which is super duper OP, man. So we've got two bunkered loot rooms here, which is going to be great. And now we need to carry on. There needs to be peaks like this. And then you have these cool peaks here too. But here I'd run into a problem. No, I knew that would happen because of the how the floor was placed. On this side, maybe build a different sort of peak, but I guess I'll show you the main one on this side. But unfortunately, we couldn't do the same on the other side, so for now, I'd have to leave it. Oh man, that's so annoying. Even though this was going to be a problem, I had now practically finished the base. Apart from the uh, slight, slight issue there, the base is practically done. All I need to do here is make wind turbines on each side, and it's done. And shortly after, I'd make a discovery. Ah, I could do a shop on each side here. Wait. That could be a good idea. After having the bright idea of placing my future shop, I then completed the shooting floor and then realized I could place my battery powering all the auto turrets in my secret bunker. I now had everything I needed to start placing auto turrets all around my base. So after placing down two wind turbines, I placed down all the auto turrets and hooked it all up to my secret large battery. So I actually forgot to recall, because I'm an idiot, but if if your um your funnel is raised like mine, you can place down siren lights, and then the people can't get past, just like that. So, again, only I can get through there. I just researched some chain link fences as well, because they are going to be placed here. Siren light goes underneath, so they can't creep through. And right here is how exactly the funnel compound works. Pretty simple. And this is where the fun happens. I finally created the shop and the basic overall plan was to take over a monument, building a base right outside, and because the server was full and on wipe day, the crates were going to respawn constantly, giving me an infinite supply of comps and scrap. So now, this was what I was going to do. I just want to undercut everyone because I have so much scrap. Like, I don't know what a good price would be, man. I noticed that the outpost was selling two scrap for one HQM, so I was going to try and undercut the actual inbuilt outpost. Fine. But we can undercut the out- we're actually undercutting the actual outpost, the rust made outpost. But with this fair price, I then realised the players get charged scrap on top of that when buying it, so I added even better deals into my shop. And just a few minutes later... We're making sales! What did we sell? What did we get? Oh, shit! That's sick! Wait, so how much must we be selling diesel fuel? 40 scrap? So my friends, I basically just bought 12,000 sulfur for 240 scrap. Okay, guys, each diesel gives you 2,000 sulfur ore, and we have six. That's 12,000 sulfur. So far, I've managed to get an overall of 19 diesel. Now my shop was up and running, I threw down my three airdrops, and I did find one grub trying to take my loot. And with help from the cactus, I was finally able to take him out. Fuck you. I say fuck you, it's my airdrop. I looted up the rest of my airdrops, and my next plan was to gather sulfur and metal since I was currently out. But on Rust, not everything goes as smoothly as planned. And here you'll meet our main enemies of the wipe, the rock base clan. That is just awkward. I actually feel sorry for this guy, he's being shot by everyone right now. Now here guys is probably close to bullying of what I did to this guy, but sometimes they need to learn. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, this guy was broke. <laughs> that showed three times in a row. Since I have a load of revolvers, I'm gonna sell these for HQM as well, but for real cheap. I added some more things to my shop for HQM because this enables you to craft weapons and upgrade your base. And before I could even say subscribe to Heidi, we got another sale. Made a sale. What are we getting? 
five. HQM someone has bought a hazmat. After a long solo day, Lewis had finally logged on, and he was very impressed with the bet. Oh! I'm pretty sure I authorized you on this one, but quite clearly f***ing not. Hang on. <laughs> now, with all this diesel fuel we're accumulating, you're probably questioning why haven't you taken the excavator yet? And it's pretty simple. A huge clan have literally okay. been taking it all day, and trust me, we've been trying to counter it. There's just so many of them. But it just feels like there's infinite amounts of them, making it impossible to counter. So we had the quick decision to head to Missile Silo, as we did need HQM because we wanted to craft AKs. But it looked like it already had been done until ones. Lewis made a discovery. Oh, no, I hear the scientist down there. Let's do it. Lewis was hearing scientists below us, which was pretty strange, since people had already taken out the scientists up top. But nonetheless, we headed down. Just be careful in case, like, they can somehow leave one. But with sad news, the scientists Done. below us were also taken. So what was Lewis hearing? James, get your gun out now. Help me. Oh, my... God, I killed him. I don't know how I'm alive, and I don't know how I've killed him. And the answer to that was that there was an oh, absolutely stacked yeah. human being down here taking it. So we cleared out the rest of the way. Oh, there's one in there. Profiting even more loot, and finally hitting the exit so we could head back home with all of our loot. Got right behind you. We need to get the head out of here, dude. And finally, we made it home with even more loot make nine turrets. We were at an overall of 25 diesel, which may I add is equal to 50,000 sulfur, but this is lovely. We still needed to turn it all into sulfur. Now, if you remember at the start of the wipe, I actually wanted to take over the sulfur quarry for myself, but just minutes into it, I'd find out that a group had already taken it over. But since it was a few days into the wipe, maybe they had logged off or the base decayed, because there was no way in hell we were going to be able to take over the excavator with this huge clan around. So I headed over there and noticed that you could just walk into the quarry since there were no active players or turrets. The only problem was that there was still a base here, but a very weak one. Now, if you remember, we had gathered up some C4 from airdrops and missile silos so we could easily raid this base and take it over. I just had to find out where the TC was. Oh, it's a wraparound, meaning it's going to be in here. Now, with this neat trick, I could slash kill and console, and for a split second, you can see what's inside their base if done correctly, and now we know that the TC isn't inside this part of the base. <laughs> and then I saw it. Wait, what is that? Is oh, I found the TC, I found the TC. I gathered everything I needed to start the raid, and then I headed over. Right, TC's open. <laughs> and just like that, we had got the TC, patched up the base, and now it was time to head back to our own base and grab the diesel. But we did have one more thing to do before we did that, and that was to steal the heli from our annoying neighbours. Right, I'm, I'm going. They're in, they're in. Is it in the base? Not really. <laughs> oh, it's in the base, they can't get that. Although this might seem like a massive W, sometimes it's best to leave these clans alone because without knowing it yet, they were planning to get their revenge. So as I said before, the mission now was to get a load of sulfur from the diesel we've been generating from our black market. Now I only added two to the quarry since I wanted this to be our first test run to see how long it takes and to see if any players come to steal it for themselves. And just a couple minutes in. I'm dead. We were already being counted only two minutes into this for all of our sulfur, and you'll never guess who it was. Oh, they're in, and I've got no HP. Oh, they're taking all our sulfur, I just realised. I knew sitting here doing nothing was going to be absolutely useless, so I depoted my main kit into the base and then checked out this new silent area. 
and they stole 2,000 sulfur. Luckily, we only added two of the 20 diesel fuel in the quarry, and this is exactly why I wanted to do a test run. These guys disappeared like ghosts, and in all honesty, I didn't want to do that again. We were very tired, so after this, we did head to bed. Well, it's day three and our wall's been raided and they also destroyed our turrets up top. So I think I need to um, sort out the shooting floor. After sleeping through the night, my base was partly raided, but all that was lost was one external wall, stone walls, and the majority of my turrets. But the main problem was going to be the shooting floor, as I had no idea how to design it. The best idea I had was adding a ladder hatch to use as a peak. Lewis had logged on and we didn't want to waste any time. Our plan was to hit. Oh my god, are we being raided? What the AK? f is that? It's AK. One dead. Have one dead. I'll push out. I've hit, I've hit, I'm dead again. I think he's dead. What? I'm pushing. Can't do anything, I'm just too laggy, mate. I'm here, guide me to a body, I'll loot him. Got it on. It was finally time to head to a large oil rig. We were here for more metal sets, but most importantly HQM. We took out the heavy scientists, and now we were just awaiting our reward, but an unmissable opportunity presented itself. I'm just kidding. Oh, right. Not me. Cargo ship, where's that? That's oh, it's bottom left, get in, get in, get in the heli, get in the heli. Right, I'm gonna go on top. Boat coming. Heli. Do you wanna jump off and loot them? With the boat? Andy. Go on the boat and loot them. Hang them for me, please. Literally there. All metal, no AK, uh, MP5. And this was the first crate. Metal chest plate, jacket, laser sight, two track crash, MLRS aiming module, a custom. There's a guy on you! Oh my god! Oh my god! god. Oh, maybe not. Oh, crate open. Uh, metal face mask, MP5, heavy pot, eight times Thompson laptop camera. Uh, boat, 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 full. Oh my god, there's like seven full metals, bro. East, east, east. I'm dead. I hit one three times. There's another one. I'm dead in the boat. I couldn't be lower. I'm dead. I had died, so it was all up to Lewis. Good one. There's one more. Oh, he's got pot helmet. He's triple headshot and he's pot helmet, he won't die. Killed him. All dead. Lewis managed to take down the rest of the clan, so we're headed back by boat to collect our winnings. Right, I'm gonna have to sit in the heli games and go to dinner. Uh, uh everything just despawned. So I looted the remaining loot from the fight and also looted the last crate and then it was time to head back home with everything we had just gained. Oh no. GG. Oh my god. Lewis, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm being missile locked by a heli behind me. Our heli's on 60 HP, we're probably going to explode if you can hear me. I can't hear you. Hello? Lewis, we're being chased by a heli. It hit, it directly hit the fing heli and we're on 60. Holy f. 
What are people doing on this game? Oh my god. We managed to just scrape getting back with all of our loot. Guys, that was the first ever time I've gotten into a dogfight on Rust, oh my and gosh. my god, that was scary. Now, we were getting way too stacked for our own goods. Our boxes were overflowing with loot. But guys, our day was coming to an end. So I bunkered up the base and was looking forward to carry on tomorrow. Guys, I believe we are raided. It says on my rust app I was killed 26 minutes ago. Meaning, I am raided. Oh my god. That's a fob base for offline raiding. <laughs> Both externals. Why are they building a fob base to offline raid, man? Oh, wow. Hello. <laughs> oh, right. Damn. Not a single item. They raid upstairs. Oh, wow. They raided upstairs, all right. Oh, my God. Everything got raided, man. Thank you, man. Now, I'm not going to bore you with a long rebuild, but I took my base back over, placing walls, doors, and externals, and then I gathered the basic resources I'd need to stop my base from decay. I then looted the supermarket on repeat and finally got myself enough scrap to place down a workbench too. And after placing that down, I crafted myself a python, which led to my first play of the day. Oh my god, I'm so good. Let's go, man. Two stars. It was a good start to the day, minus our base getting raided. But I set up yet again electric furnaces, placed down a workbench free, and finally Lewis logged on. We were back. Throughout this day, we made a lot of plays, getting ourselves a load of PvP sets, but we wasn't satisfied with this. We wanted to make some enemies and eventually raid, since this base spot on black market idea would literally give us infinite sulfur. We just had to find some enemies. After this, I added scrap to our shop to get the process going, and hopefully along the way we eventually make enemies. Oh, uh, we've made a sow. I did whack a thousand scrap in there, so we could have a lot of HQM. Okay, that was metal fragments, not too shabby. Now, I think I've given you enough suspense on our potential enemies, so I yep. think it's about time we go meet them. AKs on me. Lewis had just died to a team of AKs, and obviously we had to go over there and fight. There's a fight. They're heading down the hill now. Wait, where are they? I don't know. Mm. Where are they headed? Down into the open towards water treatment. Killed him. Oh, James, there's so many coming over. What the f? You seem like four. Oh my god, there's a whole team. Uh, I'm gonna push this guy. Yeah. One dead. I killed, killed both. I killed the AK MP5. I'm dead. I'm dead. Heading back from this fight, I was still hearing AK shots, so I checked it out and it happened to be a roof camper, which happens to be our main enemies of the wipe. Obviously, we couldn't push their base and take the loot since they had respawns, so we still didn't get their names. But that's until we heard shots yet again in the distance. Is she left? Or is that you? Are you down the hill? Yeah. Okay, he's at the two by one. shooting MP5 now? No, 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 that was him at the raid base. The two by one raid, I mean. He's dead. Nice, that was him. Oh my god. Yeah, this guy's stacked. And here confirms one of the names of our enemy. Fresh meat, but they have a clan name which is WW, so this is what I'll refer to them when we see them. They're gonna be coming back from their base. Oh, yeah, MP5 here. And I saw another MP5 and another MP5. 
Oh, I'm alive. I, I walked though. I'm above you on the rock. Where is he? Oh, it's him. Uh, James, he could possibly be the best player I've ever met. He's pushing left. Get once. There's two then. There's one behind that one. Two miles. Oh, yeah, there is. Are you dead? Yeah. I hit him loads of times. I can. I might just run, honestly. Yeah. He's still there. Yeah, I'm. See, I'm gonna flank him. Bear in mind, he's not seen me. Edge your bodies. Dead. Nice. Victory yet again. So, we had met our raid targets for the white, the WW clan. We now know where they live and roughly how many there are. As you know, we've been stacking up on diesel fuel all white, so we definitely had enough sulfur to raid them. We just had to use the excavator to turn it all into them. But our first goal was to head to missile silo, since we needed a lot of metal pipes to eventually craft rockets. But again, it was taken. But heading down there, we heard a team taking it. They're down here. They're down yeah, here. They're down here. Powers. 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 Four, three, two in the morning. Conflicts call on four ways. Man fix this life as a role play. Did they hear about the family drama? This room is there, this car. This heat, this flames, this lava. Volcanic, but the music gets mad. I know what I'd rather. All dead, all dead. Like I said before, we needed to run the excavator, and that was our next task. Now we knew that this big group running it all day was online, so we brought only two diesel fuel as a test run to see if we could hold it down. There's a guy on me. Oh yeah, he's pushing you. He's close. What's he, what's he wearing? He's hit, he's hit, he's hit, peek him. Thank God, thank God. He's pushing you, peek him. So the plan was for me to cover Lewis whilst he was on foot looting both the hoppers. But this clan did not like that we were taking it. He's like, so there's two coming. Is it He's worth pushing the quarry now. He's on me. One dead. He's dead. Alright, bus stop last. Alright, do you want to loot the last bit of the quarry? Tetra him. How much did you get? 4 HQM and 3k sulfur. 3k sulfur's not bad, I guess. Uh, he's back where I killed that other body. Where I killed the other body. He's in the... In the... You know. He's headshot. He's running. He's brown bread, mate. We did our first test run of Excavator, and honestly, it went better than expected. These guys had absolutely no chance against the high ground I had, so after this, we made a flank base for Excavator. It was time to take the excavator properly, but this time adding a little more diesel than last time. From this run we would make 8,000 sulfur, but that's if we make it home. Oh, oh. fives coming over, they're coming over, coming over. Okay. Tell me, tell me, tell me. We had successfully taken the excavator, but for some reason we only... You got 7.2k. Meaning somebody must have stolen some of our loot. There's a guy on the mount, guy on the mount. Dead. But again, the mystery 800 sulfur was still MIA. But this was okay because we made it safely home with more sulfur than we've ever dreamed of. Holy sh... That went better than expected, so why not take double? Last time we did get into some PvP, but guys, this was one of the most hectic parts of our Wait, life. Down here. Before we could even start the excavator, the sounds of us taking the scientist brought over a lot of unwanted trouble. Kill the guy. Oh my god, he's domed me. He's still there. Headshot him, but he headshot me. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, it's a full metal on me. 300. Headshot me. He headshot me, but I headshot him. Tagged him. I'm out of ammo. He's dead, he's dead. Can you die, mate? Nah, I'll salute this dude. Apex. 
Uh, two, two full metals coming from their base. They're close already. Uh, they're going pushing along the, below the hill. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Although Lewis died, this wasn't a problem because we haven't even put the diesel fuel in the excavator yet. That's true. Killed a Hazzy pushing me. It's, oh, he's got right on me, right on me. I'm dead, I'm dead. Is that Hazzy on you? Whereabouts? I've, I've caught down in the open. And what I wasn't telling you, whilst I was up top, Lewis was depoting all the kits into our flank base. Oh my god. <laughs> but we still weren't safe. Oh yeah, they're outside. Is that you? No. Oh, he's in the bushes right there, I see him. He's dead. The fight was finally over, and well... We got a ton of full kits from this. And because we were fighting for a good 30 minutes, we come back to this. Oh, James. Oh. <laughs> After fighting, we come back to practically a box of sulfur. But what use was this just sitting in a box? It was time to turn this into gunpowder to eventually make rockets. The only problem was we were running super low on charcoal. But whilst I was having this predicament, Heli was out and guess who was taking it? Lewis? Lewis? Hello? I took Kelly from him. It's landed an excavator. This is what we needed. Oh, <gasps> full metal on me. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh, he's M2 on roof. Oh, me. He's M2. Twice. There's M2 roof. Oops. MP5's on me. Ah, oh, whole squad on me. Good one on me. I've got a two two man on me at the other hopper. I push me loose. Killed one. Killed another one. Just don't have an angle. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Full kit on me. Comes. Kill two on me. Three on me, I mean. Oh my god, he's gave me a horse on the thing. I'm just trying to... I headshot him! He's dead, empty dead. Try and loot the boxes with me. Double armored door. One explosive, ammo, and ammo. The loot we just fought for for around 30 minutes was absolutely useless, but at least we got 60 explo from this, which will definitely come in handy. Like I said before, we were running low on charcoal, and this would quickly be resolved when we noticed a shop selling charcoal in their shops. Oh. Oh, oh. And because we've been selling scrap for metal all day, we had well enough to buy out the charcoal. So in our tiny whippet of a car, we drove straight to the outpost to make the purchase. Right, charcoal, let's buy a shit ton. 12k. And our order had been delivered. Here I am. There it is. The charcoal. We needed so much charcoal, we even made an automated charcoal generator. In which I definitely use the YouTube video for. 471 charcoal, 478. Yes, Alright, I'm gonna start the project of greatness. What's that? I'm gonna start crafting gunpowder. So we started the process of making gunpowder, turning the gunpowder into explosives, and then the explosives into rockets. It was now time to scout the base out and plan out how we were actually going to raid them, and if they were still even online. As we all know, rock bases are one of the strongest natural bases to build and rust, so the option here was to go through doors. It was now time to get suited up and get ready for our first proper raid of the white. Our first step was to use four satchels on a top door to get information on the inside of the base. What did you say? I did it. 
Oh. 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 It's looking fucking tasty. Okay. I have a smelting system. I'm dead. <laughs> we were getting further and further into the base, but the only way I could save the gear here was to drain the shotgun top. It's out. There you go. We were just one brief away towards their TC room, so I had to pick whether I wanted to go through the floor or carry on going through doors. I'm gonna go through floor. Okay. But we wouldn't be alone for this raid. Oh my god, they got they got launchers. I'm gonna finish the raid. Oh no, they actually did pancake clear it. I need to launch your back, Lewis. And I used it. We ain't got enough. Good enough. They're all dead, all dead. One more, one more. Enough. We were out of rockets and still nowhere near the main loot room. Enemies were surrounding us from hearing us raid. All was looking lost. One dead. Behind the wall. One dead. You good? He's low. From that spray and pray, I actually managed to take down the last player, and without knowing it... Oh my god! It saved! The group we took out was actually coming to raid our fob base. We now had enough to continue the raid. Not Wait. without a fight. Come on. Oh. One's dead. I might push out. Okay, find the wall. Find the wall. Find the one. Good guy. And now that we cleared a path to the base, it was now time to continue raiding. The base had a ton of doors left, but this wasn't going to stop us. I returned back to the fob base, and well, another clan had arrived outside. But this time, we're being raided. They were coming for all the loot. Hey, in. Yeah. And again, we managed to just scrape saving all of the loot inside of our fob base. And for some further information, the attempting raiders were actually the clan that lived the excavator. We now had even more rockets and explosives from this, and it was time to raid the base even further. Ah, 
that's an armored door, we can't do it. And again, we didn't have enough explosives. But luckily our black market was still selling scrap for diesel, so we had so much more sulfur. We used a giant excavator, but we were on a time limit since it was very late. So we cooked up what we could and then turned it all into rockets. But for this last final raid, I would be completely solo. I'm smelting up some gunpowder. What I'm going to do is I'm crafting C4 instead of rockets since it's doors only. But I am going to take this one because I can destroy a garage door with one rocket, one C4, which is very, very nice. Guys, it is time to create... C4 beast. After waiting ages for the sulfur to smell, I was finally able to craft all the C4 and explosives to do this last final oh raid. Oh god, this is broken as hell. Okay, this is it. The last send. This was it. The last final send to finish up on this set. Uh, what the? No! The team I was raiding was now in line. They had placed a door at the top of their base, so I had to raid fast. No way! I wonder how long they've been on for. Nah, I don't think I've done. I, I think it's too late. Is that an armored door? I knew here that I needed to send it, otherwise this would all be for nothing. It's another armored door. You patch, there's just no way. That's so sad. Oh my god. It's open. It's open. <gasps> okay. I can't patch though, that's the only problem. That's a lot of crude. And this is man. Oh my god, 20 crude. Guns. <clears throat> oh my god, that's a lot of comps. And after a long grind of crafting and smelting sulfur, I had finally gotten my revenge on the WW clan. These guys were filled up with so much loot and I'm so glad that I could finally end my journey here. Without my base location and idea for selling scrap for diesel, there is no way I could have done this raid. But guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh my god, that was such a grind, but we actually raided them, man. And they come back online. <laughs> Patched the base, but I still raided it. Why not? And I think, guys, I'm going to have to go head to bed. <laughs> the base is decaying, so I've got to patch that up real quick. I probably will be raided in the morning because we have been absolute pests. <gasps> We've been absolute part of me. I'm an absolute pest to these people, man. Look how much loot we got, man. Even from the start, man, this, this spot was so good because I literally just had a supermarket to myself. And because the server was always full pop, the crates just respawned instantly. So I just had infinite scrap. How much crew did we get in the end? That's 80,000 sulfur right there. <laughs> just saying. Guys, <clears throat> I had my beautiful sleep. Oh, don't tell me this bit didn't... Uh... Okay, this bit didn't get looted. This is why you never have your loot in the core, ladies and gentlemen. Every time I put my loot in the core, the core gets absolutely destroyed. <laughs> what a shame, eh? Another offline raid.